Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, or Pal, or Perry, but you can call me Pal, because I prefer it. Probably. Predominantly? I don't know. And welcome to the third year, moving into the fourth, of the channel. Yes, I have been doing this for over a sixth of my life. I've been making YouTube content, and... Actually, this year was quite a success in my opinion, unexpectedly so. Everything that I set out to accomplish in or since early 2016, I have accomplished. Now let's talk about that after I go through the obligatory statistics because people like me like numbers. And people like me are subscribed to this channel, I assume. I mean, I believe... 30% of my viewer- 20% of my viewership is female. Yes, I know these things. I know. And so, I have released in the past year 74 videos. There have been 7,800 views, 45,400 minutes watched, 483 likes, 208 comments, and 89 new subscribers. Now, for the entire lifespan of Pal Plays, there have been, uh, on this channel, 346 videos, 18,600 views, 114,000 minutes watched. My, my goodness, that's a big number. Actually, that's minutes watched. Let, let me do the math for you. 1,900 hours! Uh, divided by 24 to find days. 24. No, 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 no. That's 42. 24. Enter. 80 days. And that's not 80, you know, days where you watch for four hours and then you're done. That's 80 days if you started watching on day one, you didn't eat. You didn't sleep, you didn't bathe or shower, and you kept watching for 80 days straight. That's that's crazy, my goodness. There have been 1,400 likes, 1,800 comments, and 311 subscribers. Now, last year, I segued immediately into the top three videos of the year, but this, this year I have something different in store. I tracked how many subscribers we've lost, because my subscriber count now isn't every subscriber I've ever had. There are certainly people who clicked that unsubscribe button when they saw my face on the second year anniversary of the channel when I did that face reveal. And so it looks like people were... <laughs> I scared off 170 people. I'm, I'm a scary person. I've scared off 170 people, which means if I hadn't scared off 170 people, then I would have 481 subscribers. Now this isn't a sad statistic, this is not a bad thing, because YouTube looks at it as saying, oh, 500 people have discovered this person, okay. That means people are probably going to want to discover him still, so we're going to put him on suggested videos. So this is a good thing, I guess. Now we can get into the top three videos. In respect to Minutes Watched, the top video of 2016 takes the cake, and it is, uh, takes the cake at uh, 982 minutes watched, and it is the first episode of Super Paper Mario, which is kind of expected. The next place, second place, is Super Paper Mario Episode 9, 1 Million Rubies, with 938 minutes watched. This video is actually quite significant for reasons that I will talk about in just one moment. Uh, and then third place is Pal Plays Okami episode 79, entitled Glitches. Also a little bit significant, because this video was released towards the tail end of the first year of the channel. Not the third, not the second. And this time, this 926 minutes watched, accumulated in the third year. Not... It isn't its total runtime. It's ran for, or it's been watched more than that. But all of that time put it in the top three just in the third year. That's interesting to me. I don't understand that entirely. Next, uh, well, actually, before we get on to top videos in terms of views, there's an honorable mention 
which is also significant, something I'm going to be talking about a little bit later. The last episode of Pal Plays Earthbound. Why'd I put Pal Plays? The last episode of Earthbound, episode 38, after game, 812 minutes watched. So I that's also significant. I'll talk about it in a little bit. Next for view count, the top video is the first episode of Five Nights at Freddy's 2, where Ryan, Dave, Nova, and myself played through the game. We had a blast, and 514 views agrees that this is a good video. Now, this one kind of cheated, actually. I will, I'll definitely admit that it cheated, because it was the channel trailer for quite some time, and I didn't realize that it was. And so, it was the channel trailer longer than it should have been. Eventually, I spotted the mistake, and I was like, you know, this is actually a good indication of what the channel's like. It introduces some mainstay characters, and it's a good video, so I'll leave it. And I think to this day it still is the channel trailer, because it is a good video. Next place is the first episode of Super Paper Mario, as expected once again, with 319 views. Third place goes to a video that I released a month ago, actually. And it's third place already, which means great things are in store for it. The most difficult deck in Modern. It was making fun of the deck I play in Magic the Gathering, as it is a very easy deck to play. It practically plays itself. And that video accumulated 269 views and is still growing substantially. I expect that this video may take the cake as the most viewed by next year's time. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on how many people sp uh, spread it around, but... Normally I don't do one of one-off videos like that, but this time I did and it paid off. So I've released four series, four Let's Plays, in the year of 2016. Besides uh, the fact that I wrapped up, or we wrapped up, Pal Plays Wind Waker, is a great let's play go watch it it's it's a very good lp it's very funny we started and finished five nights at freddy's 2 which again was co-op with four people then i jumped right into super paper mario a game that was semi-blind i had seen a let's play way back once upon a time and decided to play it myself you guys really seem to enjoy it it's great content in my opinion it's sort of like earthbound which i talked about last year where it's just really good. I think RPGs are meant to be Let's Played practically. They're, they just work so well, and this game is not an exception. Go watch it, it's great. And then we rounded out the year with Overwatch and League, which I'm going to be counting those as separate and actual series, because I plan on expanding upon them at a later date with, with friends. I just wanted to fill the quota, because you guys had been asking me for years, actually. When was I going to play League of Legends? I talked about it a lot. I play it a lot. I played the viewers before I played on the channel quite a bit. In fact, one viewer even gifted me a skin. And so I felt like it was my, my civic duty to play it on the channel. So I ended up doing that and I think that you guys liked it. I did too. It was a blast. And I put a lot of work into those five episodes of each game. I put a lot of work into those. And I am pleased with the result. And then finally, I rounded off the year with bringing a series, bringing ABO, Alpha, Beta, Omega, into its own. I fleshed out the series, I gave it an official logo, which I myself made, and I think it was quite a big success. Uh, I've, like I said, I fleshed out the series, it's now quite a, a good in a thing that I'm able to put regular installments into now, because I have improved how I uh, capture games. I don't use the Elgato Gaming Capture to, to screen cap computers anymore. I'm using Shadowplay, which is very easy to use. Very easy. And so it allows me to just sit down, pre uh, press, you know, record, and, and just kind of derp through it there, and then leave the lion's share of the work to editing. So it's worked out very well. So if you all remember, last year, not only did I talk about what I wanted the channel to look like, I also reflected upon the goals I set the previous year. And this video is no exception, as last year I talked about how I wanted to increase and improve the retention time of my content. I wasn't satisfied with how people were clicking off of videos, my view count was going up, my subscriber count was going up, 
my video count was going up, but my retention time wasn't. It wasn't good. I mean, it was going up, but not nearly as quickly as I'd want it to. So, you'll notice, compared to previous years, I've released fewer videos than I ever have. 74 videos I have released, because I went down, I reduced my schedule to releasing two episodes a week, instead of three. Now, I was satisfied with what this, this left me. It, it put less work on my palette, but I wouldn't mind going back up to three videos a week. Uh, but despite the le the smaller amount of content and the fewer subscribers gained, my views and retention time, which would be minutes watched, have gone through the roof. Uh, watch time is up 5% from previous periods, and the view count is up 22, almost said 21, but no, it's 22% as opposed to previous years. That's huge. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. And it indeed happened. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. Uh, and I think part of it is due to an untold and unplanned success of 2016. I started titling videos. You could see it started with episode, with, uh, with, oh snap. Five Nights at Freddy's 2. I started titling the episodes and I continued with every video I've released since and I think they're easier to watch. In fact, I have proof of this. Go to the top videos for minutes watch. Super Paper Mario Episode 9. Now usually, series, they they follow a pattern of the first episode, has a lot of views, has a lot of retention time. People are interested in the beginning. And then, they go towards the end. They check back in and they're like, oh, what is the finale like? What's the final boss? How does, how does PAL wrap up the series? Now, there's a little bit of tapering off in that period. The last, like, three episodes and the first three, they usually kind of taper down. So first episode's here, then second, then third. And then the, the fourth and the rest of the episodes just kind of go into an average as the, the regular viewer starts checking in and the people who are kind of Sunshine fans, they, they trickle out. But episode nine is well beyond that curve. Well beyond. And yet it takes the cake as second place for minutes watched with 938. And that's because of the title. One million rubies is the title of that video, and in the thumbnail it shows a bunch of rubies. People are like, hey, he made a bunch of money. He got money, got paid. How did he do that? And so they clicked on the video. Now, I could say this is clickbait. In fact, one or two of you talked about how it was borderline clickbait, or they thought it was. But it ended up not being so, because clickbait is usually trying to get people in just to watch the video and then that's it. But this was actually truthful. It wasn't like a uh, full AP Trindamir one-shot burst League of Legends video. It was one million rubies. What did I do? I got a million rubies. I wasn't trying to become a cultural icon. I was playing through the game, I was, the title was honest to goodness what I did, and I think that it's easier for people to check into. People who want to see the Pits of 100 Trials can see the title, and then they can click on that video. People who don't want to see that have now have a warning sign instead of just a picture. They're like, oh, well, he's playing through the pit, I don't, I'm not really interested in that, I won't watch this video. And allows them to check into other videos that they may be more interested in. And you can see that reflected through the entirety of the top three. You have um, the Okami episode, which got third place for minutes, and it has a title. I didn't practice titles back then, but for the final videos of a series, I would. And so, this had a title, people clicked it. Um, let's see. The most difficult deck in Modern has a title, people clicked it. It's not serialized content. And titles make it feel like it's not serialized. They make it feel like there's something unique about the video that they should be checking out. And so they do. And I think that the titles were a very unexpected success of the channel. And I'm definitely going to be continuing that trend because it allows you to... It allows the communication between me and you to become a little bit more streamlined. So you guys can click on content that you're interested in. So yeah, that... For the coming year, though... I think that there's nothing really I need to improve. I'm not saying I'm a, I have arrived, but just judging by your, your responses where you say, you know, this is good t content, keep it up. I've gotten so many con or comments like that. 
over the period of this past year, more so than I ever have. It's because you guys genuinely enjoy this content. You think that it's good, you think I've reached a goal, and you want me to continue. Now obviously I can improve with that. I can always improve my quality. There's no point where I have arrived. But I can, I've definitely reached a cornerstone, and I'm going to be continuing, or milestone I guess, and I'm going to be continuing that trend and improving this content through commentary, through editing, and through a statement that I said last year where I said, I want my editing to complement commentary instead of accounting for it. That was a huge theme of 2016, and I want it to be a huge theme from here going forward. Now, before I check off, because I've, I've said all I really want to, besides thanking you, I would like to thank you for a comment that constantly gave me joy. People said, you deserve more subscribers. And that's a, that's a great compliment. Thank you. I, that means that you guys think that I have potential. But also, I'd like to address it, because it means that you guys want something to happen with this channel, and that's something I can't necessarily control. But you can. You can control it much better than I can. Uh, in the current YouTube environment, it's kind of hard to find subscribers or to get them, because big channels get bigger, and small channels are drowned out by other small channels of people trying to find their YouTube fame. Very few are sifted and fall through the cracks and become very popular. There are very few success stories nowadays. It's mainly, oh, PewDiePie is now, he has 50,000 subscribers and he's getting, or sorry, 50,000, 50 million, my apologies, at PewDiePie, uh, and he's just getting bigger. And so if you guys want me to get more subscribers, I have a very easy and simple solution. Tell people about this channel. Find your favorite video that I've ever released and send the link to your friends. And I, I have an example for this. If two of you, or sorry, five of you, if five of my 311 subscribers told two people a piece and showed them a video, that's 10 people, say 60%, that's a fair assessment, I think, 60% of those 10 people subscribe to my channel, that's six people, they're encouraged by you to show someone else, and so they show two more people, that's 12 Say 60% of that 12 subscribe. That's six or seven, right? Cool. Um, and so six or seven of those people, they subscribe. So far, now there have been 12 people to subscribe. Those new six people tell two more, that's 12. Uh, or yeah, they tell two more and that's seven, about. And that goes up to 14 and pretty soon, with 60% of people subscribing, even 50%, even one, even 1% or 10% of those people that are being told subscribe, that's money in the bank. Well, not money in the bank, but that's subscribers in the count. And the channel is now growing substantially. I've gained with this, this model in just a couple of rounds or circulations, I have gained about 30 to 40 subscribers. That's about 10% of what I have now. That's huge. That's immensely huge. And it takes about a week to do. That's gigantic. So that's a way that you can help. If you're interested in having this channel grow, then tell your friends. Spread it through word of mouth. And that will be that will be more effective than anything I can I can imagine with spreading my channel. Now, honestly, I don't really care about how much my channel grows. You guys are great. I have one of the best communities on YouTube. By far. By far, I have one of the best communities on YouTube. I have chatted with you guys many an occasion about random things like Ruby, about the game itself. I've chatted about chatted with you about things that are going to happen in episodes that haven't been released yet because you're interested, you're engaged to know, you want to you want to partake in this community because you have shaped it. You alone, well, you and me, have shaped this community in something that's great, and I'm content. And actually, I'm more than content because. While I'm not a YouTube star, I'm make, not making my living, I'm not paying for college off of YouTube, I'm actually much more popular than you'd think by looking at my subscription count. The amount of times that I've been recognized by my channel is astounding, actually. It's actually mind-boggling. So the population of the United States is 318 million, okay? 
I have 311 subscribers. That is a million times, yes, I punched it into, into a calculator, I can't do math, a million times greater than my subscriber count. And yet the amount of times I've been recognized, both in public, just normal life, I've said something in a college class, and afterwards someone approached me and said, wait a minute, do you have a channel? A YouTube channel? Yes, I do. Is it pal? Is it called uh, Pal Plays? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, I watched that. I've watched that. It's crazy. The amount of times in video games, in Overwatch, in Lee. In fact, when I was recording an episode in, uh, yeah, an Overwatch episode one, someone, multiple people, recognized me. That's crazy. The the odds of that are astronomical, and yet. It happens consistently. I've stopped counting how many times I've been recognized. If I ever wanted to reach fame, I think I've reached it now. Not because I'm a millionaire off of the internet, but because I'm being recognized. And it's all I could really ask for. I'm not trying to become a YouTube star. And I am content with what I have. If I can continue to have a community, however small compared to other channels, that is invested and engaged in both the community they have created and my content, then that is something that I can be very content with. Very content. So I guess I could say, for the next year, my goal is just to continue. Just to continue to grow this community and create content that you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this content, in any capacity. Please tell your friends. Let them share in this, this experience. And I'll see you guys next time for my next Let's Play, which I produce here on the channel. See you guys then. Oh, and thank you. Thank you so much for making this a part of my life. A part of my life that I cannot imagine. I can't fathom what I would be doing if I wasn't doing this. See you guys in the next video. Star, 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 Error, Rebooting System.